I've come on a little trip to Finnick Glen. It's the first time I've been here and it is quite an interesting place. I'm just trying to figure out the best way of getting down into the glen because at the moment I can't really figure out how to get down without falling down about a 30 meter drop down in. So just having a little bit of an explore about the area, uh, just doing a wee bit of a recce and seeing what I can get. Really looking forward to this. I've been wanting to do this for a while. made it down into the devil's pulpit and it is stunning I don't know if you can see the water but the water is just red really deep red brown really spectacular at the moment I'm just having a bit of a dander about to see what I can see over this way it kind of leads off into nothing so I don't know whether I'm going to maybe try and get a little video or a little photograph of up there that would be quite nice also, um, just up and round here, round the corner, um, I'll just turn the camera around for you now. It also looks quite interesting up there and I'm thinking about maybe taking my shoes off maybe, trying to get into the river, get it a little bit further up there. That's a possibility as well, but at the moment it's just fantastic. Unfortunately there's a few big trees just kind of plunked in the middle, which isn't exactly what I wanted. It's no big deal, hopefully I'll be able to get something out round um, away from this, but obviously it's just from trees falling down into the glen and just building up here, so it's no big problem. So, I'm going to spend a wee bit of time just having a bit of a dander about, looking for the right place to set up my tripod. Wow, what an amazing place this is, it's really special. Bookie. the red of the water is just fantastic and it just leads away up into nothing. I've got the camera set up here, it's kind of in the middle of the stream, um, just set up on the tripod there and really nice long exposure, um, about 30 seconds and I've taken three shots at 30 seconds, going to put them together in Photoshop, it's going to be about a minute and a half exposure altogether then. I'm set to f11 and I've got my polarizing filter on the camera as well just to cut out any reflection from the water, really get an idea of that deep red and that we can see. So I find this waterfall and it's class. It looks amazing. I've had to come out into the middle of the river in my bare feet. Don't know if you can make that out, but it is freezing. Scottish summertime, it's a cold place, no matter what anyone says. So, camera's set up and I've got the waterfall coming down. I've just taken a few pictures. I'm really happy with what I'm seeing in the camera. And there's a few wee waterfalls up the glen there, uh, which I've just captured. Uh, quite a slow shutter speed of six and I've taken about five or six of those pictures. I'm going to put them together in Photoshop. We're going to get hopefully around 25 second exposure. Uh, the bubbles are creating really fantastic little circles um, just because of the trail of them and the long exposure. So really looking forward to uh, having a wee look in Photoshop um, at the longer exposure shot um, and the bubbles in the water. Just making my way back out of this uh, glen, the Devil's Pulpit, and yeah, I can really see why it's called this. Really nice place. I um, have to put my feet back into the water, which I'm not looking forward to. Um, it is cold. I cannot wait to get my feet back into some lovely warm socks. 
and my shoes. Um, really fantastic time here. I'm really glad that we came along. We've arrived in the kiln and now just uh, we've gone for a little walk along uh, the path close to, quite close to Loch Tay. Um, camera's all set up and I'm just waiting for the light. Uh, there's some nice grass in the foreground. There's Loch Tay there as well. And I've got like a little valley with a mountain um, just over there. I'm sure you can see it. There's a few people in the way at the moment, but that's no problem. Just waiting for a little bit of sun to hit that. I've been waiting for about five or 10 minutes and hopefully, hopefully fingers crossed, there's a little bit of light starts to hit that mountain. Um, it's a bit dull at the moment and there's been light hitting either side of the mountain, but nothing really where I want it to go. So just gonna wait for a little bit longer, see if I can get the light that I want and then get the picture. I've got quite a fast shutter speed set here and I think I'm around a 30th of a second, um, F11 and ISO 100. Uh, so it should be nice and sharp, quite a fast shutter speed. Uh, the ground that I'm on is a little bit unsteady, so I don't think I can really go for much of a, a longer shutter speed than that. So just waiting for these people, number one, to move out of the way, number two, for a little bit of light to hit that mountain, and we should get a fantastic photo. It took me a little bit of time to get that photo, but I think I am happy. That was lovely. The light just came onto the mountain and oh, it's looking fantastic. There's now, I don't know if you can see, but there's now a rainbow in the background. Don't think we would have got that, so I'm not too upset that it's not appearing. Um, I don't really have um, any kind of ND filter with me today, so I've tried to take possibly about 60 or 70 photos and I'm going to try and piece them all together and maybe get some nice um, trails from the clouds. Don't know how that's going to work. It was all shot in raw so it's going to be a huge file and that's going to take my little computer maybe a little bit too long to edit. Um, but really happy with that last photo.